to Japan, 2 o'clock Japanese time, so another 2 hours. We're in Japan now, finalizing the paperwork, getting a Japanese sticker of approval. Everything's okay. Your customs document. Document. Your bike. Yes. Please signature here. And I get to be in Japan. Oh yeah. Here we go. Antonio, how do you feel about Japan? Great. The weather is amazing. It's beautiful. It's great outside. It's luring us. Let's see. Yes, it's. See, this is Japanese sticker of approval. Safe journey. Sayonara. Japan. And I'm on the wrong side of the road. Right off the bat. Where do we go in Japan? I don't know. Mike is being very shitty. So I got off the boat and didn't have to worry about the visa anymore. I wanted to look at an issue that I've been having for two weeks. Bad compression at low RPM, not being able to accelerate to stalling point. Maybe it was dirty carburetors, no, the right carburetor. The rubber of the piston in the in the carburetor, there's a hole in it. He glued it up and we, I'll have to order, get a new one at one point, because waiting for it takes five days. It's a bit much, but it would be nice if this is the source of my problems and not something, you know, Engine related. Signing the flag here. Right Doga, Doga? Movie? Yeah, movie. Mm, movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mota says hello, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Motorcycle. Okay, where? <laughs> here? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. The Samota in Japan. Yeah. Is definitely the puncture diaphragm, which is excellent news. Get a new one and this can get fixed. And the Honda legend lives on and nothing will happen engine wise. <laughs> it's, it's good. Still, you have to get a new one and everything has to come off and do it, but problems located. That's nice. See how long this temporary fix holds. Look at that. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Checked out the price online on that vacuum pumping for the carburetor. Price of 60, 65 euros here at Red Baron is cheap compared to the price of 120, 30 and more. Pays off to be in Japan in that regard. I will go forward and have it ordered. Don't think that glue will hold out long in a moving piece of, uh, with pet in a petrol environment. Petrol's in the air. You can literally light up the sky here if you want. in a bit of mountainous coastal area after uh, 100 kilometers. It's not a bad place to camp, I reckon. It's a Pacific below, set up camp here. <laughs> and I just realized that it didn't went two hours ahead to Sydney time, no, it went two hours back, which is interesting. Seven, seven-ish, it's gonna be dark by eight. Camera never ceases to amaze me. I thought it was the death bed, you know, zoom stopped working. And I understand you got wet a lot of times, but zoom's back i hope it's it's here to stay and the interesting part is i was gonna go west to sapporo 
so I could buy a new camera. I hope you find a good deal. But today I checked my bank and this whole Japan endeavor. There it all was, the information in front of me and I was instantly no new camera, you know, not even a cheap one. So I decided to go east, forget about the zoom. In time of need, it came back and thank you for that camera. Land of the rising sun. But it's 5.30 something. Woke up at 5, could help myself. Basically, my old 8 o'clock. It's early. <laughs> I said the whole day. This is actually how I should have been traveling in the past. Always waking up at 6. Note for the future. <laughs> Japan. Bye bye. Said goodbye to my Japanese camper buddies. Yeah, it's a uh, sake evening. Heading out. Bye to Mubatsu, Mubatsu, by the coast, and then head inland. The coast is supposedly really nice. But inland is where the mountains are, so I'm gonna head in there. I don't have the tires, but this is interesting. Water doesn't get muddy. See, this I cannot deal with. I'm gonna use the Heidi's right now. Slip, slip, slip. A lot of logs. See, I need a map of these roads and then get the Heidi's on. This is already 10 times more exciting than what I've been doing till now. Look at this. Even the off road roads in Japan are organized. This is amazing. <laughs> Even off-road bits are well organized, like the regular uh, asphalt roads. We have mirrors in the, in the bends and signs and gravel, so I can ride at a decent speed, even with, you know, a rock-hard rear tire. It's almost as slick, but you have these obstacles. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea, but we'll try. Hmm, how far around it can we go? You need an axe! I wonder if these roads were intensely used in the past. The is going up ahead for the trans out. 100,000 kilometers, 10,000 short on the meter, but that was done without a speedometer cable. Boom! Congratulations, Alp. I love you. Thank you for all the good work. Keep at it. We keep at it. He's gone nuts. He's talking to his motorcycle. That's insane. Look what I found. We haven't seen one of these in a while, have we? Flying down the coast at Tusco yesterday at times I was bored. Just low speed limit. Trying to get used to it. Doing amazing mileage. Right now I'm doing 285 and not on reserve. The roads are just so well organized. I miss a bit the rough edges, but I'll get used to it. It's 
the animal cross the road, the mother and the small child, they look at me as I get closer. This is hot! Hello, Fox. You're a fox, aren't you? <laughs> I've never seen a fox before, so I have to be a dog. Hey, hey! Fox! Dear! What are you running away from, dear? Is the grass delicious? Just chilling with the deer. There's a lot of them here on the peninsula. This one's pretty curious and relaxed. Used to all the people. The peninsula here looked like it was hit by the tsunami. Yeah, I was on my way. Uh, road began to be awesome, but it had already started raining. Not a big issue, but never ending rain. Just gray sky. Screw it, tomorrow. Go back, find a place uh, to settle down. It'll be a shame to waste those nice winding roads. I think I touched the ground. <laughs> Holy shit. I touched the ground as a case. It's a left case. Oh, and I did it again. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. These tires are awesome. But yesterday, late noon, I turned around uh, shortly before this part here. It was all gloomy, cloudy, raining, just and it just looked like it was going to continue raining not worth it went back camp now back awesome road i've been uh, touching the asphalt with the cases first bending in really bending into the left corner I stop. It's like, is that it did, did i just touch the case and then i'm in bend into the next one really scraped the right one it's like holy shit this is great i'm now putting the tires more to the test the rear one it's uh, 140 wide some real road tires uh, front is still a scorpion <laughs> oh, it's fun. That is fun. Just dipping, dipping in here. We want to go back and do it again. something you can't eat. So, Sapporo, mission for Wi-Fi. Big city, the biggest on uh, Hokkaido. Oh yeah, this is where the fun starts. Seriously, those bumps, they bump me out of control. Do they actually make it harder? There we go. Bump, bump. Wow, this is awesome! Whoa, these are green web passes, holy shit! Like moss! This is green, green, green! <laughs> Whoa, what the hell! End of the road. Looks like it's end of the road here. I'm having a blast, this is an amazing road. The bush, thick, so close to the asphalt. It's beautiful winding roads down up but for the first time ever i see moss on the road just that's uh that's pretty intense so take it easy in some bends because that will make you slide end of the road well it's an excellent excuse to go up that road again here we are it's a lake 
Not allowed to camp. Whoa! Sometimes be careful looking at scenery. <laughs> Started out camping out by the lake. Started coming down 15 minutes ago. Sending it lieutenant in the wet sand isn't a fun activity. Takes a bit of the romance away of camping on the beach. Uh, realize shit. No bloody whiskey. This would have been perfect for some booze. <laughs> Rain all night. Oh, the water. It's pretty good temperature. Quick dive. We're head out. Trying to get to the main island today. We're just out here. to the main island. I'm starved. Haven't had my 7-Eleven sausage on a stick yet today. And it's long past lunchtime. I really enjoy. Just had to get through a little, uh, little change. Um, yeah, I got to appreciate the tarmac, really got into the winding roads finally for the touring experience. Uh, eventually, new goals. I arrived there, no more goals or nothing. Everything is just some water. We're really looking forward to the main island. What goes on there? 